Welcome to my channel Tips Tricks and Concepts by Vishnu. Skeleton supports our body. It protects our body organs. Human skeleton has 206 bones and this is our skull. Hey, who is there taking my class? Oh, it's you. Okay. Hi friends, this is Vishnu here. Welcome to my channel Tips Tricks and Concepts by Vishnu. And in this video, I am coming up with the skull bones, okay? This, to study the different examples of various skull bones. The cranial bones, the facial bones, the hyoid bone and ear ossicles, okay? Also, this will be a different video from all other videos I have done. And this will be presented to you in a 3D form, okay? So, let's go to the video. So, friends. This app was purchased by me during my first year of MBBS, okay? And I think some of it, a few part of it will be very useful for you to help you understand the cranial bones, the facial bones and so on, okay? So, as you know, the skull bones consist of mainly the cranial bones, that is 8 cranial bones, then facial bones, which are 14 in number, then hyoid bone and finally ear ossicles, okay? So, in this video, you will be seeing the cranial bones and the facial bones. So, first let's see the cranial bones. That is, as you know, there are eight cranial bones. First of all, this yellow bone, okay? The yellow bone on the top, you see, is the frontal bone. And you can see that it is unpaired. That is only one in number, okay? And actually, during the fetal stages, it was actually two in number, okay? And they get fused, they got fused to form the single bone. That is the single frontal bone, okay? So that is one in number. Now, you can see the orange colored parietal bone, okay? Parietal bone, as you can see, there is a suture line in between and hence it is paired, that is two in number, okay? You can see the orange bone, that is the parietal bone, okay? And now, the bottom that is the violet colored okay violet colored bone is nothing but the occipital bone okay and you can see that it is also one in number okay. and you can see that occipital uh, bone has two condyles that is the occipital condyles and you can see the two occipital condyles on both sides of this hole that is nothing but the foramen magnum through which the spinal cord passes that is the brain continues as the spinal cord through this foramen magnum okay the hole that you see in the center and on both sides you can see two articular facets on the occipital bone and there are the occipital condyles and since there are two occipital condyles and they join with the atlas of the cervical vertebra okay the first cervical vertebra the atlas in humans it is called as the dicondylic skull okay that is because since there are two occipital condyles so one plus two plus one okay four now let's go to the next one that is the green colored there is nothing but the temporal bone okay the temporal bone is the green colored one and you can see that it's also paired okay you can see two in number on both sides okay it is near the ear okay so that is the temporal bone and hence the other two that is and hence we got number as six now again we have two more bones so the two bones include the blue one okay you can see the blue one and it is actually and uh, through if you look through the orbit that is the uh, eye cavity you can see the blue bone again okay and hence it is a single bone and that is nothing but the sphenoid bone actually to see the sphenoid bone more clearly we have to cut the skull okay we have to cut the skull transversely and hence you can see the sphenoid bone and the blue color okay the dark blue color okay not the light blue the dark blue okay and finally we have the ethmoid bone okay i will show it the ethmoid bone you can see the white pointer the uh, relatively ivory colored part okay that is the ethmoid bone okay and that's also a single bone and it's two parts okay two faces okay so we have one frontal bone two parietal bones one occipital bone two temporal bones one sphenoid bone and one ethmoid bone okay they together constitute the cranial bones now let's see the facial bones okay as you know there are 14 facial bones okay one four fa 14 facial bones okay and i will demonstrate that too okay 
so first of all let's look at the orange bone okay you can see that the facial bones form the front part of the skull okay? other than the frontal bone okay frontal bone was part of the cranial bone and so first of all the orange colored bone in the front and you can see that is paired and it is nothing but the nasal bone okay two nasal bone okay and now the next one there is the magenta colored you can see in the nasal septum that is nothing but the warmer okay and that is unpaired that is a single bone okay it is actually the two phases of a single bone okay you can see the white pointer that is the warmer bone i will zoom it magenta colored bone okay inside the nasal septum okay or forming a part of the nasal septum okay now nextly we have the lacrimal bone okay lacrimal bone is also paired okay you can see the rose colored or the uh, magenta colored bone okay that is nothing but the lacrimal bone okay now let's come to the face in detail okay more number of facial bones that is we have the major bone that is the maxilla okay you can see the green colored bone that is the maxilla okay the green colored bone is a maxilla and you can see a suture in between okay and hence you can know that this maxilla is a paired bone that is two in number and this green bone has more chances of fractures in many road traffic accidents and all okay i just told this just to uh, give you an additional information that's all please uh, this is not needed for your exam okay this uh, that maxilla is uh, getting fractured during most of the road traffic accidents okay all bones have the tendency to fracture but uh, this can fracture through the suture line itself that is through the middle itself and i have seen one case too okay not only one case but in many cases it was partially broken and in one case it was completely separated apart okay the two maxilla and now you can see the light blue colored bones on the two sides and they constitute the zygomatic bone okay the they are the zygomatic bone the sky blue colored bone okay they are the zygomatic bone and next we have the next paired bone on the bottom that is the roof of the buccal cavity a part of the palate okay a posterior or the back part of the roof of the buccal cavity the red colored bone okay that is nothing but the palatine bone okay the palatine bone okay now you can see another image of the skull a 3d model and you can see one more bone and that is nothing but the another important part of the facial bone which is single in number that is only one in number that is the mandible okay the highlighted one okay the yellow colored one and then two more is to be needed for making the 14 facial bones and that is nothing but the two facial bones uh, that we didn't discuss were inferior nasal concha okay the picture will be displayed now so the red one that you see here is the inferior nasal concha okay the inferior nasal concha is the bone so students let's brush past through the bones okay first of all the cranial bones okay so we saw the frontal bone one frontal bone then two parietal bones one occipital bone two temporal bones and then one sphenoid bone and one ethmoid bone okay so in total there are eight cranial bones that is the bones protecting the brain okay now the next one that is 14 facial bones and here we have firstly two nasal bones then one warmer bone then two inferior nasal concha then two lacrimal bones then two maxilla bones then you have the two palatine bones that is the paired bone that you saw as red colored bone on the roof of the buccal cavity and then you have the two zygomatic bones and finally you have the mandible that forms the jaw bone okay so that's all about the 14 facial bones that forms the front part of your skull okay then we have a u shaped hyoid bone okay a u shaped hyoid bone and finally three ear ossicles on each of the middle ear okay on so six ear ossicles that is malleus incus and stapes which resemble a hammer anvil and a stirrup okay 
a hammer it looks like the malice looks like a hammer then the next one there is the incus looks like a, an anvil then finally the staples which is the smallest bone okay which is the smallest bone the staples and it looks like see stirrup that is the stirrup on a horse that are used by many horse riders okay i hope this video is very useful for you and whenever you see some questions regarding the facial bones cranial bones etc you will always remember these 3d models okay so if you have any doubts please feel free to ask me and i will come up with more such videos and bye bye for now all the best